Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Phoebe and today I'm going to be doing a kind of Kim K inspired Instagrammy waves tutorial. Um, before I even start the video, if you are new to this channel, big boobs, take a minute to like and subscribe, maybe watch some of my other videos. That would help me out so much. And yeah, I don't want to ramble on about that. So let's just get into the tutorial. So at the moment I have in 26 inch tape ins from Zala extension, from, yeah, Zala hair extensions. I have a discount code if you guys want to recreate this look with extensions. You can do it with extensions or without extensions. But if you use my code Phoebe10 on the Zala website, then you can get some money off. The extensions will be linked in the description as well, so you could just go down there and click the link. I am an affiliate with them. So yeah, you could, if you have long hair, good for you. If you want to do this look with shorter hair, that's cool. If you want to try it out with some extensions, then feel free to check them out. So yeah, let's get started. So for this look, I don't really section my hair because it's kind of like a... So I'm just going to start by spraying some heat protector in my hair and I like to put in quite a bit just because I do have extensions and I'm blonde and I don't want to damage my hair any more than it already is because it's actually quite healthy thankfully. This is the Waver Tool, it's just from Amazon, it will be linked in the description, it's really good. I'm just going to start from the back and work my way forward. So these are really easy to use, it just takes a minute just because you have to like crimp each strand of each hair um, but it actually doesn't take as long as you think it would I just hold it on each thing for like about like 5 seconds just because I'm talking I probably won't be able to count but roughly 5 seconds um, and then just work your way from the top to the bottom For this hairstyle I don't section my hair. If I was straightening it or something, I would section my hair into multiple um, sections. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure that I manage to straight every bit. But for this style, I actually prefer to not section it. Just because I feel like it's kind of a style where it looks good when it's kind of all in one. So if it was in sections, the, the, the waves wouldn't like match up with each other. So I think if you wave it all together in smaller pieces, I think it looks better in the end. Maybe if you have super thick hair, um, it would be easier to section it, but I find it okay for me. Every time I wear my hair like this, I get so many questions about it. You do. So I thought I would just make a little video and show you how I do it, because it's one of my favourite styles at the moment. I literally love it. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, I just have a mirror behind the camera. Because I've tried to film hair videos so many times without a mirror. And every time, obviously, it just ends up being the biggest mess. And it never looks good in the end. So today, I used my brain for a second and got a mirror to look in. And what I like to do for these waves, just because obviously your hair is thicker at the top than at the bottom, so the waves at the top, I hold the crimper on them for a little bit longer, and then as you get towards the bottom, obviously it doesn't need as much heat because it's thinner, and then also the bottom of your hair is usually more damaged, so you don't want to use as much heat on it. And it also holds... Um, holds it better because it's damaged. I do like to straighten my hair, or at least like the top of my hair, before doing this. So I straightened my hair like two days ago, so I didn't need to. But um, I do find it easier if your hair's straight, that way like the top doesn't have all like flyaways and it's all just together and so I find it makes it easier to like wave it that way but if you already have um, straight hair 
or you don't need to for whatever reason then obviously you don't have to but I just find it a bit easier if at least the top part of your hair is straightened already you don't want it to look messy really and it literally makes it so shiny when you do this like it's a, like a joke like how shiny my hair looks after And then as I do each wave and I've like clamped it, I like to like hold it up just so that the wave above it kind of sets in and doesn't drop down straight away. Now I've got to the front piece, I like to just make sure it's like properly brushed through because I feel like this is the most important piece. So it has to look perfect. And then yeah, just like the rest of it. I like to come quite close to the root and just curl it like the rest. It's so simple, you just do the same thing over and over again. We start on the other side. And then just the same thing again, start from the back, taking smallish sections so that the heat manages to get to all the hair since it's not sectioned. And what's good about this hair is that you can wear it for a couple days. So like the first day you do it, the waves will be a bit more defined, but then over each day, it just drops a little bit and just it just gives you such a nice wave over a couple days. I find it goes so quickly because you only have to hold the waver on the piece of hair for like five seconds at a time. So you literally just like get it done so quick. I definitely find this a lot faster than curling my hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish these waves because it's just the same thing over and over again. But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly finish waving these. <laughs> And there you go, that literally took me like 20 minutes at most. If the waves aren't perfect around your face, especially, you can just go in and re redo any of them. But I actually think these are pretty perfect. So you can just leave it like this. It's already really nice and shiny. Um, but I do like, at the moment I really love John Frieda Frizzy's Perfect Finish Polishing Serum. It just gives your hair like shine and it's a good like final step for the for your mate for the hair. Shut your bubblegum dumb dumb looking ass the fuck up. And you don't need to use too much and just run it through my hair and it just makes it so shiny and so healthy looking. It's literally like dancing the light off it. And you can see like this side is just healthy looking and shiny. So then just do the same thing on the other side. Obviously. And then on top of that, I've never actually tried this. Um, this video is not sponsored by John Frieda. I just happen to use a lot of their products. Um, but this is a shine spray, like a glossing shine mist. I haven't used it before, but it can't hurt. I'm hoping just to give it a bit of extra shine. <coughs> and then the last finishing step I like to do is just take, oh, my rings aren't on. Oops. Um, so yeah, the last step, I like to take some hairspray. I like the got to be glued one. Put, I like to put it in my hand just so that it's not too much. Just spray a little bit into my hand. Um, and then and then just run it over the top of my head and over any flyaways that I might have. Mm, maybe I'll redo this front bit actually. Just maybe the top two because it looks a bit less waved than the other side. Wow. There we go, I literally just did the very top wave. 
Um, and then that could use, oh, I'll just spray it right in my eye. Put some shine on that. And there we go. Super easy, super quick. That literally took me like 20 minutes at most, I'd say. And yeah, I love this hair so much. I think even if you have shorter hair, it would still be really cute. And then also, as well as the hairspray on the top, because I hate my hair flying into my face with it, if it's windy or flyaways getting caught in your lip gloss is literally the worst feeling ever. So I just protect my face with my hand and then just spray a little bit on the front pieces. I mean, I say a little bit, but... And that way it kind of stays more perfect, especially in the front, and it doesn't get in your lip gloss. So yeah, I think that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned <coughs> all the taste of hairspray. Um, so yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning, if you could take a minute just to like and leave a comment, subscribe maybe, watch a couple other videos. You can also follow me on Instagram at the Phoebe Rose. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!